Welcome back everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson Number 2 of Factoring Home Review Part 3. Please make sure you catch Parts 1 and 2, but we went over uh, Grace Con Factor uh, with also uh, conjugate pairs and a mixture of both, right? So for number 6, multiple choice question, when fa factored completely, the expression 48 minus 3x squared is written as, well, just like we did before in previous problems, we're going to find the GCF, and the GCF in this case is equal to 3, all right? So 48 divided by 3 is 16, and 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. So we're going to get, in this case, 3 times 16 minus x squared. All right, now we can factor this part again because of conjugate pair. And so now, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of x squared is x, plus and minus, or minus and plus. So we're looking for 3 times 4 plus x times 4 minus x, and the one that resembles most likely this one is going to be choice 4. And I say, but it doesn't look that way exactly, Mr. Gong. It's okay. Don't worry about it. This is the same thing because we learned about that multiplication is commutative, which means you know we multiply a times b, b times a with the same result. Number seven, which the following represents the greatest common factor of four x squared y six and x y the fifth. Okay, so we're gonna look at each number here. So the greatest common factor between four and 18, well, the biggest numerical value divides the both four and 18 evenly is two. So our GCF will definitely have two because in this case, four does not divide evenly into 18. Now, the next thing is the x, the x value. And we're looking for the one with the smaller variable. Well, here's a two x squared, but this x is the first power. So it will be, in this case, x. Remember we said before that for GCF, the variable with the smaller exponent is the one for the GCF because we can, we can divide x into x, but we can't divide x squared into x evenly. And then finally for y, we have y the 6 and then we have y the 5th. And so that being the case, we're going to pick, in this case, a smaller one, y to the 5th power. So this 2x times y to the fifth will divide evenly into both 4x squared y to the sixth and 18x y to the fifth. And therefore, our GCF is going to be choice three. All right? The other choices will not divide evenly. We'll have some type of remainder in this case in the denominator. Okay? All right. Which of the following is not a factor of 6x squared minus 18x. Well, we have to factor this to figure out which was not a factor. So I'll begin with the GCF. And we see here we can, we can divide both 6 and 18 by 6. And eight, x squared, but x will be x. Well, between 2x squared and x, the well, small variable is going to be x. And so now, if our GCF is 6x, 6x squared divided by, uh, by 6x is just going to be x. And 18x 5 by 6x is going to be 3. Now, we see in this case the words are not a factor. So x, mi x minus 3 is a factor, so it can't be this one. All right? Then we see in this case 2. 2 does divide evenly into, into 6. It doesn't say greatest common factor. A factor is something that can be divided evenly into another expression. Okay? 2 can divide evenly into both 6x squared and 18x. So it can't be this one. And because we have a factor here of x, x is also a factor. Because really, when we see this way, it's really 6 times x times x minus 3. And if we break it down further, it's the same as 2 times 3 times x times x minus 3. And that's why 2 is a factor as well, too. So we see here that x is a factor. Therefore, the one that's not a factor is 12, because 12 will not divide evenly into 6x squared minus 18x. Which of the following prime numbers is not a factor of the integer 330? 
Now here we we're gonna do something called a factor tree. I mean, we're gonna break down this in this case the prime factorization. And so we'll just pick two numbers and multiply the three thirty, and uh, and we'll say like, okay, well, how about we pick a three? Well, three goes into uh, three thirty. I've seen a hundred ten times. So three is so which is not a factor. Three is a factor, so it can't be this one. All right, now uh, one hundred ten. Well, about eleven times ten. 11 is prime, prime number and so here so we have the prime number of 3 prime number 11 and 11 is prime number here so that can be that one and now two numbers multiplied to 10 are 2 and 5 all right 2 and 5 5 is definitely a factor but 7 is not the prime factor here okay so you do prime factorization really in this case if we had to write it out this would be the same thing as 2 times 3 times 5 times 11 that's the prime factorization in this case. Okay. The area of any rectangular shape is given by a product of its length, length times width. If the area of a particular rectangular garden is given by 15x squared minus 35x and its width is given by 5x, then find expression for the garden's length. Well, here we go. So our length times width, and the width is 5x, and we don't know what this is equal to, all right? But then we do know the area is equal to 15x squared minus 35x. Well, if we were to take the greatest, to factor, in this case, the 15x squared minus 35x, we might be able to figure out what the length is. So we begin with the GCF. And so the greatest common factor for 15x squared minus 35x is going to be 5x. Oh, look at that. That's going to be, that looks like the width, okay? And so we'll have in this case 5x. And so we take 15x squared divided by 5x. And we get 3x. Then we take 35x divided by 5x, and we get 7. There's a minus in here. So here is the area, the area factored. And we said in this case, this is the width. Therefore, this must be the length. The length in this case of our garden, of our garden is equal to 3x minus 7. That's right, so how we use factoring to help us solve some of our problems. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the end of our Algebra 2 quadratic functions, lesson number two, uh, factoring home review, part three. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys, and make sure you catch part four, uh, and, and of course, uh, parts one, two, to get the full, uh, just everything that has to do with factoring and all, right? Uh, and in the course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question comments below, and please give this video a like, right? Look out for our next video. Take care, bye. Be safe.